Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to math today. Today for math, you will need your 17 activity sheet from your work packet, a pencil and some crayons. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, we're practicing working on a number family. And the number family we're practicing working on is the teen family. We know that we're practicing working on the teen family because all of our numbers that we're practicing start with a one. They're two digit numbers and the number that's in the front is a one. The number that's in the back tells us how many are left over. So today our learning target is I can identify and make the number 17. And notice 17 is a one and a seven. So 17 will be made up of one group of 10. It helps us count the number quicker when we have our one group of 10 and then we can count on from there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? So I have one group of 10 and seven extra to make my number 17. And today I drew a little visual of a car because all the time I'm saying in a two digit number, the number that's driving is in the front. So I just wanted you to be able to visualize that in your brain a little better. So here's our one driving, the number 17 all together is in the car. The one is driving and the seven is in the back seat, okay? So there's one group of tens here and seven ones that make the number 17. All right, so as we've been starting with our numbers, our teen numbers that we've been working on, we have our written word for the number. So let's go ahead and spell the number 17 on our worksheet together. Touch your letters with me as we say it. S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N spells 17. All right, now with our pencil, we're gonna trace it to practice forming the letters correctly. So S E V E N T E E N. Notice I did not color them, I traced them with what I have as a marker. I want you to use your pencil in case you need to erase. Okay, now looking at our resource over here, what do we call this guy? a 10 frame. We have two 10 frames because we have more than 10 with our number 17. So we can supertize zippity quick to see that there's one group of 10 and how many extra, seven extra that make up our number 17. So we're going to skip counting and marking those out today because what I want you to do at the end of the lesson is go back and color those in as you count. Okay. So let's go ahead and practice writing 17. 17, like I said, is a two digit number. So we have our one in the front seat, seven in the back seat. We always start at the top. So I want you to trace both of your dotted 17s at the top. Do your very best. We don't want any floating letters, your or numbers, I'm sorry. Your numbers should be the same size. They should not look like this. They should touch those lines. All right, let's go down to the next one. Start at the top and down you run. That's the way to make a one. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Now, just like we talked about with six yesterday, sometimes we're still getting our sevens backwards. So make sure when you're practicing today, you're using your resources to help you know, oh, that's the way the seven looks, okay? So we have a one and a seven, finger space. One, seven for 17. Another finger space. You're going to write another 17 and one more. So across the bottom, you should have traced one, written one with the dots and three on your own, hitting those lines. Okay, when you're finished doing that, let's look at this resource. What's this resource called? The number line. The number line helps us to know our numbers in order or in sequence. So when we find 17, we know we'll find it after what number? 16 and it comes before what number? 18, that's right. So we're gonna circle the number 17, okay? So now we know that information, we're gonna write it down here in the boxes. 16 comes before 17, then we have 17 and what comes after? 18, okay? And then what are we gonna do in our 10 frames here? We're gonna fill in 17. What is that gonna look like? We're gonna have one group of 10 filled in, right? 
And how many will be filled in on the bottom? Seven. Remember when you fill them in, go across the top first, left to right, and then go to the bottom left to right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen circles all together. Okay? So I use both my 10 frames to show one group of 10 and seven extra. Now we're going to do our addition sentences to add to our team number. So our addition sentences show us in a different way how we can break our, apart our number 17. So we have our missing add-in first. Can you say those words with me? Missing add-in. We've been talking about it for a couple days now. A missing add-in is when you have to find the missing group to add to the group that's already here to get to your whole number. So 10 add blank equals 17. How, more, how many more do we add to 10 to get to 17? Seven, just like we've been practicing on the whole activity sheet, okay? Notice on the next addition sentence, a different number is missing. So we have 10 add seven equals blank. Well, when we put a group of 10 and a group of seven together, how many are there all together? 17, good. And now you're gonna show that with your unifix cubes, okay? So you're gonna color your train of unifix cubes, like what I showed you at the beginning of the lesson with our actual unifix cubes to match, okay? So you're gonna color one group of 10 and how many extras? That's right, seven extras. When you're finished, jump up here and color your stars to show that there are 17 stars and then post it to your teacher's Google Classroom. Great job today on the number 17 for math. And I will see you guys tomorrow for your next math lesson.